Hi there. I'm gonna review an LG mini split rattling noise. Brand new air conditioner. Launch it up. And heard this uh, very loud rattling noise. This video shows how that noise was cured after some investigation. In terms of the install itself, pressure is held just fine, no problem. Run 250 psi. 147 microns for the vacuum, so no issues there on the initial install. Unit sounded normal, you can see here in our daughter's room, it sounded no problem. However, outside it was a different story. You see here that the unit is making an unusual noise, and when tapping the side of the unit, observe that the noise could be recreated on pressure and actually made worse. And touching it again, you can hear that the noise is reproducible on contact, and it's really loud and annoying, so we've got to get that fixed. So then it was time to take the unit apart, and the mount kind of prevented the front of the unit from removing easily. But initially saw that this Velcro material looked kind of jabby, maybe made in a Friday or something, no what's going on there. Move the uh, cover all together, and again you see on the right hand side there that the uh, velcro is kind of half coming off. And so started to review and investigate what was underneath there. So go to fire up the unit, and generally making not as loud a noise as when the cover was on, but when contacting behind this velcro, I was noticing that the chattering or rattling noise could be reproduced. So digging into things here, applying contact could actually reproduce the noise. That's just touching the velcro area, the compressor is actually behind there. So digging in behind here, and again can be reproduced with touching the unit making contact here applying a pretty good amount of pressure so now peeling back the velcro reveals more parts and pipes of Pressure, but sure enough, these two pipes in the very far background makes it look easy in the photo, but in real life that's pretty tight. You basically have a really tough time getting your hand back there. The mounts themselves are secure, no noise, but back in that corner, pipes are touching together on contact. So there's the challenge. Got two pipes making contact, making all sorts of rattle noise. So dug around to find some uh, spare parts. Try to find something to mitigate this, placing some material between the two pipes so that if and when they wanted to become close to each other, they would not make as much noise. Tried one piece at first here. But the one piece was too sticky, so I ended up having to take two pieces, stick them together so that the surface was not sticky anymore so it would actually go around the pipe a little easier had to try to wedge it back there it was quite a time trying to get back in the back of the unit but you can see here a couple photographs trying to get this thing in between these two pipes use some needle nose pliers and eventually dampen the vibration so stuck it between the two pipes it's in there really good doubt it's going to vibrate away the light there to try to show the uh scenario a little better and again you can see here that the pieces in between wedged really solid there so when putting it back together I tried to get the velcro on a little more cleanly than it was first installed velcro is no longer overlapping the outer case it's actually lined up correctly everything's in there a little tucked in there better 
and now following that adjustment it's difficult to see there's lots of background noise cicadas things chirping in the background but the bottom line is that the unit itself is actually really quiet and then to further show this when palpating you know, applying some pressure onto this velcro cover with the compressor it's no longer making any noise or sound when pressing pretty solid here. So now just a matter of getting things put back together again. In terms of taking off the cover, just a brief note would that'd be really weary in terms of removing the screws, trying to get them back in the same spot, etc. Um, take lots of photos because this thing is uh, quite the contraption in terms of number of screws and everything. Anyway, needless to say, got her fired up. No more noise upon contact. I'm gonna get the cover on and see how things are looking. So there's a photo with the adjustment. Get the Velcro back in place nice and neatly. And now here's the unit on full speed, turned up in the bedroom. So it's set to lowest temperature, highest band speed. Some background noise apparent here, but basically the unit is no longer making that rattling and it's as quiet as it ought to be. So basically all the pressures were fine. You know, vacuuming fine, charge fine, but basically brand new out of the box. Crazy rattle noise. Thankfully a pretty inexpensive fix. Don't know how much that uh, plug adapter cover was, but probably around a couple bucks just to rip off some foam and get it done real time here. You can see the unit is making the correct amount of uh, sound. No more rattling. Happy neighbors. The uh, Pipes over to the right are for another mini split unit that's going to be installed next. That's why it's a bit messy there, sloppy, middle of the job. And then moving back to the bedroom, see here on high speed, the unit's making the correct amount of sound. And on low speed, it's basically inaudible. Hope you enjoy the video and that this might help you if you have the same noise. So please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hope it does help with your own troubleshooting. So that's all for this one. Have a good day, everyone.